Hi, my name is Dr. Wale Oyubanji, a medical doctor. Malaria basically is a tropical disease caused by um, protozoal plasmodium and is usually transmitted by the female anopheles mosquito. For the symptoms, um, you have fever and then chills and um, shivering, right? Because you also have um, abdominal pains in some cases, you have nausea, like you want to throw up, you have vomiting. Because of our environment, you know, there's a lot of stagnant water around. This is one of the places where this um, stuff's dwelling. You have the sewage, dirty sewage around. Basically, you have refuse dumps. And then people that are, you know, that have the genital of AA as well are predisposed to, to this, you know, basically. So that's a lot of the few risk factors for, for malaria. You want to be sure that you have a proper flow of water in your environment. Clean environment should be advised. You know, that's very important. And then, um, you know, we encourage people to use the insecticide treated net if you wear their risk of having, you know, this female anophilus mosquitoes around them. And that's one of the things the government have been doing by distributing insecticide treated net to children and then even mothers, especially pregnant women, you know, to prevent um, malaria and pregnancy, which can be turned into maternal mortality. All right? And then um, we also tell people to use insecticides to spray their homes. This will stop the um, female, uh, female mosquitoes from coming around. And then they also have the repellent, the coils and all that that people use to, to prevent the attraction of these um, female anophilus mosquitoes that can in turn lead to, to malaria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Health Access. And Dr. Adeoye, my guest. Thank you. How do you monitor disease outbreak, increment in ailments, or if there's reduction? Ah, thank you very much, Aki. Well, that is my department, really. Uh, first, we have what we call um, utilize, monitoring of utilization of services. Now, it's a research uh, methodology whereby we go out to various hospitals in the country, the ones we have accredited. And then we have a set of questionnaires to show, to find out how many people even actually came to hospital first. So we can determine the rate of usage. Number two, we find out many questions like what kind of disease conditions did they present with to the doctor? We also find out the pattern of such disease conditions. If we have if somebody comes and has malaria three times a year, and we now look at how many, the frequency of such malaria occurrences, you know, in different people, we'll be able to calculate and say, well, malaria is like twice, generally twice a year. So you a monitor. Month. So we do monitoring Mo monitor. of service utilization. Very good. So when are you going to make public an impact assessment that gives Nigeria a way forward? in health management? In a short while, I am aware that the management will be giving out, will be advertising the contract for the impact assessment of former sector program. Uh, you know, former sector is the one we have been operating uh, for over years. You do assessment when you have run the program for not less than five years, be able to know what you are looking for. So once that is issued, uh, we'll be able to know the impact of former sector. And you know the impacts, first of all, you are looking, of, looking at out-of-pocket expenditure. Nigerians spend 68% of their health expenditure from their pocket. I have a very germane question. Yes. Your questions abroad, are always germane. <laughs> abroad, I don't know um, if it's done here, but my insurance company has not done it for me anyway. If you buy a car, and you register your car, and you don't have an accident this year, next year, you don't have an accident. By the third year, you are beginning to get some form of um, incentive, cushion, reduction in your rates. One, is the NHIS built along this line? Two, what is the renewal uh, pattern for NHIS? Once I pay, bam, Bengadinka, NHIS will take care of me for life. Or is yearly like I do for my car. 
Then three is a jump question. Three. This man, uh, what do you do, sir? This man is a mechanic. This man might be interior an interior decorator. That man is a comedian. In Nigeria, we're still very religious and traditional. Uh, come and pay. God forbid! I will not be sick in Jesus' name. I'm covered by his stripe. I am healed. I shall not die, but declare his glory. Does any church have plans to go to our churches, to our mosques, to convince our pastors, our imams, our traditional worshippers, the leaders in these places, that people are not stones. They will be sick. And they must make plans. Yeah, now, now this, this is very important. We need to be educated that uh, health needs to be managed all the time. And uh, you cannot determine, there's no calendar to say this is the time illness will come. As a matter of fact, new old illnesses that were not there before are now coming back. What we call non-communicable diseases, high blood pressure, is now coming like crazy. Diabetes is now coming back like crazy. They were not, they were almost going, you know, and all, so, but they're coming back. So, would you say that, oh, well, religion, belief, norm, ah, do, do not allow me to think that I will be sick. It is lack of education. And a forum like this will be used, it's been used, and more of such, to tell people that you must prepare for the rainy day. Not only that, you just prepare for a rainy day. As you age, you are born today, you manage to survive five years when illnesses can strike you and just take you off. Mizu can just take you out. Now you survive six to 12 years in the public primary. Maybe health insurance has helped you there. Maybe you didn't pay again. You are no more, you are now in tertiary. Then you go to tertiary, but you didn't pay again. That's the time as you're growing, you are, your body is uh, wasting. They say after 35 years, your body functions begin to reduce 1% every year. Yeah. Okay, so what happens? It means that as you age, there is more probability you know, of you going ill. It's a stochastic situation. It, it's a changing phenomenon. You cannot, so you must, that, that is why health insurance is just there to guarantee you in case of this eventuality. The show is health access. We'll be going on a short break now. When we come back, we'll take questions and answers and quiz so we can round up this program. Thank you. We'll be right back. My name is Blossom Gabriel. Yeah, National Health Insurance um, Scheme is an insurance scheme that promotes health. You know, because Okay, for instance, in Africa, people don't really consider health issues at all. But the awareness they have created so far has helped people to understand that they have to invest in health matters. You hear about sudden deaths, you hear about sudden collapse, issues connected to health, people don't really pay attention to it. But if there's any insurance to invest in, it is health insurance. My wife find you, she no get part two. She find pass on Ibo Queen, no rival. Baba, eh? Your wife is coming. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, 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 the king registered the NHIS. The Enzibaki has a bit of a bill. If you have a note, you can come to the NHIS. 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 And my dreams you always come true. I the go register for the NHIS. You go to school? Where do you know about the ASEs? The NHIS. Government don't they arrange better things. Where you go benefit from? Me and Linda. We no go to suffer for hospital bill again. I the go register for the NHIS. Now, now, everybody can register. Bus driver, mechanic, trader, anybody. Easy access to healthcare for all. Thank you very much. The show is Health Access. My guest has been Dr. Thomas Olabode Adeoye. Thank you very much. Benga, 
you have only one question. This is Q&A session, and we have run out of time. We can only take one question. Thank ah, you. No, I will not agree. The people will determine the number of questions they want to ask. The people love me. Ask them. Okay, do you want one question or more than one? They form my hand. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, so who wants to ask a question? Anybody? Okay, bros. My name is Ola Jai. My question for you, Dr. Adeo, is this. You mentioned in your talk or answers that health is stochastic. Now, for motor vehicles, like we've heard, we know that sometimes the accident might not happen or the mishap might not come up. But for health, it's certain you either age or, as it's the case, as the case, maybe you die. Now, why health insurance and not assurance? That's my question. Okay. Stochastic. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, is it, it's a matter of. Um, Semantics, one, is a matter of nomenclature. Um, health insurance is the universal Lunch. language to describe the participation of some people in contributory form for their health care when they do some token prepayment. That is just the meaning of health insurance. Now, there is no, I've heard of quality assurance. Now, that one is an omnibus language to mean uh, total quality from, you know, from end to end. Okay, so that is for that, but it is never called health assurance. Then it will become uh, different words and different meanings. But health insurance is compound word. It's compound word. It cannot be separated. Once you separate them, then you are saying different things. Okay. So, Aki, on yeah. that stochastic and uh, omnibus and uh, all the big Oibo words, I hand over to you. Thank you. Actually, nobody can give you health assurance <laughs> <laughs> because there's no health assurance. assurance. That's why people can either grow sick or die. Thank you, Ola Jai. Thank you, Dr. Adeoye. It's Thank been a wonderful, much. wonderful episode today. Oh, God, it's been so interesting. But fortunately, we have to sign up now because of our time. We'll be coming your way same time next week. Bye for now. Thank you. You've been kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.